Welcome to Adapting Class and thank you for deciding to watch this video. This week is designed for Mental Health Awareness Week. And as a result, we're going to talk about 10 questions, high yield questions on drug toxicity, all the things you need to know for your NCLAS, Adapting Class, Mental Health, 10 questions. So this is the first question, uh, as usual, I'll show you my test taking strategy, how to approach these questions in an easy way, reading from the back and go for the password. Which of the following is the priority next action? That means the next is supposed to do something and it's the priority. That means you have to be sharp. You got to do something to save the patient. A client was recently treated with what? Aropyridol. For what? Schizophrenia is admitted with what? High fever? muscle rigidity, altered mental status. After you read it, connect the dot, let it make sense. Priority action, I got to do something, but it has to be number one. What is the problem? I take aeropyro and then for schizophrenia, okay? But why do I have a fever, rigidity, and altered mental status, high fever? This is NMS, after you connect the dot. Neuroleptic malignant syndrome, what would you do? Do you give them acetaminophen for the fever or stop the aeropyro or cooling blanket or dantrolene? Test taking strategy, this is a priority. The offending agent cannot be going on while you're doing other stuff. So you have to tell yourself, no more aeropyro, right? You can treat the fever later. You, put a, you cool them down and give them dantrolene to prevent the muscle contractility that is causing the muscle rigidity. But before you do that, you can have the offending agent still going on. Therefore, stop it. Next question. Which of the following interventions should the next prioritize? The same thing, prioritization 101. Be sharp. If you watch more video, watch adapting class. Look, I need to prioritize. That means all this may be right answer, but it's one that is the most important. The client is admitted with suspected what? No triptolin. Once again, connect the dot, find the buzzword. This is the buzzword, not triptylene overdose. What is not triptylene? You have to know what kind of class of medication. This is TCA. Side effects TCA is called dance. They have dermatitis, anticholinergic, neurologic, cardiac, and evaluate the risk. Client has both hypotension and prolonged QS, uh, QRS. Uh, complex. That means there's cardiac changes. What do you want to do? This is an overdose. TCA overdose. How do you treat TCA overdose? Is it? What is the name? It's an acid, right? TCA is an acid. Therefore, what do you want to do? An acid mixed with the base will form what? Water. Tricyclic antidepressant. So they are all acid. Therefore, whenever you see somebody have overdose of TCA, give them a base. Do you see a base here? Even if you don't know, nalacin is an op used for opiate. Magnesium sulfate, it can be used for calcium uh, overdose, right? Amiodarone will be bad for this patient, right? Amiodarone also has anticholinergic effects. Therefore, we're not going to do that. Therefore, it can also have cardiac effect. So the best medication is sodium bicarbonate, is a base. It's going to neutralize the acid, and that's what you give to the patient. So, sodium bicarbonate. This knows these symptoms are associated with what? And as care for a client with schizophrenia is receiving clozapine therapy. A client has sore throat, fever, and malaise. Once again, you have to connect to that. The symptoms is related to what? I'm taking clozapine. Now I have what? Sore throat, fever, and malaise. Sore throat, fever, and malaise. This is a second generation antipsychotic. It has a lot of side effects. It can cause NMS. It can cause EPS. It can cause agranulocytosis. And it may have anticholinergic effect. It can have anticholinergic effect. Therefore, which one is the problem? Look at it. Sore throat, fever, and malaise. Is it extrapyramidal side effect? No, it cannot be. That will cause 
uh, what we call adapt, right? Acute dystonia, akitesia, parkinsonism, and tardive dyskinesia. That's not what the patient is showing me. It's gone. NMS. I'm going to put high fever. I never put high fever. I'm going to put muscle rigidity. I did not put it there. It can't be that. Therefore, agranulocytosis. Patient has agranulocytosis and therefore is getting sore throat, malaise, basically recurrent uh, respiratory infection. So this is your friend. Which of the following is the priority next action? That means which one will, you should prioritize. And next is assessing a client brought to the emergency department after using methamphetamine. The client present with hypothermia, tachycardia, severe agitation, and elevated blood pressure. As you can see, amphetamine is a stimulant. Patient take amphetamine, all the symptoms are going up. Hypothermia, tachycardia, agitation, elevated blood pressure. What action will you take? All these things, what the most important thing that is going to kill this individual is epithemia. So anybody on a methamphetamine come in, you want to cool them down. That's number one reason why you want to treat them. Otherwise, you go up and you have seizures too much. So kill, initiate cooling is the best means of uh, to prevent uh, um, other symptoms that will kill them. Number one is to prevent seizures, then they will lead to rhabdomyolysis that okay organ failure due to excessive overheating. Which medication should the nurse prepare to administer? A nurse care for a client who has the history of alcohol dependent is admitted for de detoxification, right? The client begin to exhibit agitation and diaphoresis. The nurse suspect delirium trauma. This question, there's a lot of a diagnosis here, so it can confuse you, but you have to follow answer the question related to that. Which medication should the nurse administer, right? A, a nurse care for a client with history of what? Alcohol dependent. The reason why we admit him is for detoxification. All of a sudden, it's agitated, it's diaphoretic. What do you think is going on? The next thing is DT, delirium tremor. Therefore, what do you want to do? Delirium tremor, if you don't treat it, the individual are going to seizures. Which medication will help with uh, preventing seizures? It's this benzodiazepine, chlorodiazepine. That's what is going to help them. The client is found unresponsive with, with shallow breathing and pinpoint people. The nurse suspect an opiate overdose. Which of the following interventions should the nurse prioritize? The same thing. You see, they are prioritization, but you have to be smart about it, slow breathing, pinpoint people, and have overdose of opiate, or treat the overdose of opiate. Do you intubate this in patient? Do you give the patient oxygen or naloxone and compression? Based on the fact that we know that it's an opiate overdose, then treat it first. Give the patient naloxone. If they don't re come back, then you know you gotta do your BLS. But the first thing you wanna do is take away the antidote. Which next intervention is most appropriate? That means one of these is appropriate. A nurse, a client present with confusion, one, dry mucus memory, flush skin, and urine retention after taking over the kind of cold medication. What do you think? Connect the dot, the signs and symptoms. Confused, my mouth is dry, my skin is flushed, and I have urinary retention. I know you know what it is. These are anticholinergic side effects, right? Anticholinergic side effect. Therefore, how would you want to prevent the effect of anticholinergic increases acetylcholine? Which of those will increase acetylcholine? Think about it. Which of those will increase acetylcholine is new statement. You're not going to give them too much fluid or initial lavage. Neostigmine will increase, is a cholinergic agent. So it's going to be more cholinergic to counteract the anti cholinergic effect. So we're going to give the individual anti cholinergic neostigmine. Which medication the nurse should anticipate from the air care provider? 
a client who has overdose of amphetamine present with what? You already talked about it, but in the different form. Present with what? Restlessness, confusion, dilated pupil, and elevated blood pressure. All are signs and symptoms of overdose of amphetamine, right? Which medication the nurse should anticipate from the health care provider? I told you their yeah, temperature will go up. You don't treat them, they go into seizures. And therefore, which medication is used for seizures, right? Diazepam, right? Is it benzos? Give them benzos, cool them down. Thus, is used for opiate overdose, another medication that can be used. This is also another medication can, can be used for opiate, and this is antihistamine. So the only thing we can use is that. Which of the following action should the nurse take? A client taking paracetam for depression develop tremor, aporeflexia, agitation. All these questions, you can see the theme. I'm trying to give you the medication. Then I give you the common signs and symptoms you need to know. And then the third one, how to manage it. So if you watch this video, you know every most of the side effect of that medication the name of the medication, the side effect, and then how to treat it. Paracetin, you take, you have, you develop tremor, hyperreflexion, and agitation, that is serotonin syndrome, right? What do you want to do to treat it? The first thing you want to do is serotonin syndrome, take a offending agent there, and then treat it with antidote. You should not increase it, okay? You can discontinue the paracetin, but not all medication, right? You can't just treat the blood pressure. You give them serotonin antagonist. Okay, sepro, eptidin. You can use it to help with um, serotonin syndrome. But I intentionally don't write it. I told you serotonin antagonist is the same thing. You have to know ways the enclase will give you questions related to that. Okay, thank you for watching. Like I said, if you want to join the membership, uh, just go to Adapt and Chris, click on any video, and then click um, Join, and then uh, follow the instruction on the screen. You get access to most of the videos on the Adapt and Chris. Like I said, we have two membership. Of course, there's a bunch of free video. You can just subscribe, share the video to your friends so that we can grow to this channel. Take care of yourself, and have a good day, and good luck in your exams. Keep charging, as always. Bye-bye.